Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back in the garage and in the Word. Reading from the book of Habakkuk, last few verses of chapter 3 here. Uh, this is starting at verse 17, and it says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. And he will make me walk on high hills. Habakkuk in his uh, prophecy, prophesying, was worried that God wasn't handling the uh, oppressing nations the right way. And he starts off and he's, really questioning everything that God is doing. He doesn't like the way God lets the Assyrians take over and treat, mistreat all of the people. But uh, he comes to his senses in the end. And he says, even though things are really bad, there's no food on the table, there's no, uh, there's no flocks, there's no nothing, uh, I'm, everything's hard, everything's tough, I'm going to rejoice in the Lord, the Lord God is my strength, and He will make my feet like deer's feet, and make me walk on high hills. And this is a great passage to keep in mind whenever we're going through tough times, is that uh, going back to the book of Job, um, we talk about the patience of Job, but actually what the lesson was, was that God does what God wants to do when God wants to do it, and it's not for us to question. So if God is using the Assyrians in your life, to teach people a lesson. That's God's thing. That's what He wants to do. You have to turn around, face God, and say, You are my strength. I put my trust in you 100% all the time. And Habakkuk says this uh, back in chapter 2 and verse 4. He says, Behold the proud. His soul sh is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. It's a great note here. It says, Moses gave Israel... Uh, 613 commandments and David reduced them to 10 and Isaiah to 2 but Habakkuk to this just this one the just shall live by his faith and that's where we get to back here in chapter 3 verse 17 it's actually 19 the Lord is my strength he will make my feet like deer's feet <clears throat> he will make me walk on high hills this is what God does God works in his own way in his own time doing his own thing he does this for us individually, and He does this for us as a nation, as Zephaniah says at the end. At that time I will bring you back, even at the time I gather you, for I will give you fame and praise among all the people of the earth when I return your captives before your eyes, says the Lord. So, I know everyone has questions every now and again, whether or not God's doing the right thing, whether He's doing your thing, whether he's there for you or not, God's always there for you. He's always right. And as my lovely wife, Caroline, always says, God is almighty all the time. Y'all have a good day. I love you very much. If you need anything, please reach out. Be more than glad to help point you in the right direction. See you later.